Well, well, well. Welcome back to episode four of Cyberpunk. Well, let's get this started. Last time was an epic adventure of um, uh, shooting, raiding, and um, a lot of action. Ooh, what is this? Medical malpractice. Malpractice. We can help all the world. Jeez, man. Everyone has like implants or surgery. It's like, are people even human anymore? Man. It's like our future is just gonna be filled with machines inside humans and outside. In second, speed loads. Milf guard. 30 new uh, mares to pick from. Wait. Advice to limited. 35% scan for discount. Milf guard. Milf guard. Milf guard. 30 new mares to pick from. Oh, okay. So uh, I guess they legalize, they legalize the practice now. Eh, I never into paying. I used to pay, but it's terrible. I'd rather have a good massage. Well, it is, st it is still, it is still a massage. <laughs> a massage down there, that is. What's wrong with that guy? Foreign boy. Which promotes the use of cybernetic implants. I love treating you, beautiful. Can't complain, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. Now, I'd like us to talk about the most exclusive and highly sought after implant on the market today. Hey. Our son supports love. But maybe we ought to make sure our fair audience is up to speed. Karina, what is Relic exactly? In a word, if you could. In one word? I'd say immortality. Immortality? Really? That's right. Relic allows you to transfer the consciousness from a dying person, finding a new home for their soul on a transferable chip. This person, they'll never leave your side. A companion forever with you in your own consciousness. Just a... Child, child, think for a moment about what you're saying. This relic is an abomination that feeds on human misery. It is an unnatural likeness. A golden calf born by false prophets. Arasaka speaks of preserving the soul. But they can promise nothing more than a heartless, mindless algorithm speaking with the voice of the departed. What's more, this technology is just another tool of coercion and corruption. Only the wealthy and powerful elite will have access. And they will pay any price in exchange for a chance at this so-called immortality. Well, that is true that Arasaka Corp has specifically limited access to the relic in order... Your promise is a lie! An evil lie! Motivated by greed and... <laughs> now that is rich! Hey, excuse me? False promises, greed, a lust for power. Why, it sounds an awful lot like a church to... What? How dare you? Do you not promise a life after death? Do you not charge funeral fees to a family in mourning? Maybe the Reverend is just afraid of some healthy competition, huh? Competition? You believe everything in this world can be counted, measured, rationalized. And wouldn't we be right? We can construct artificial brains, create new consciousness. But I ask you why? What does that give us? Are we as a people on this earth any happier for it? You claim that this relic gives eternal life. But all I see is an eternity of suffering. Rather than say goodbye, we haunt ourselves with their voices, their presence. 
What do you folks think? Who holds the truth? Is it Ms. Lee or maybe Reverend Kohler? That is up to you. Send Kohler or Lee to 7892 to cast your vote and enter your name for a chance to win tickets to this year's playoff. <laughs> well, in my opinion, we shouldn't be preserving the dead. I mean, I mean, they want to be, you know, stay at peace. You can't keep them around forever. It's like having a a pet that just, you know, oh, look at that, the Matrix style. Anyway, going back to the topic. It's like having a pet that just passed away. You want to keep it preserved by having it um, stuffed with lots of stuff, with cottons. Uh, what do you call them? Taxidermy. Yeah, you just you just have to let them go. You can't just like keep them forever. That's how nature is. Because if you just keep them for a while or for a very long time, that means you haven't let go of the past. It's all about letting go. You know, life goes on. Not even, you know, anyone. Not anyone can stay in this world forever. Who knows? The other world might be much better than this world. Ooh. The world after life could be a better place. Oh, that's my theory. Hey, bada bing. What you want? Jeez, people are very productive here. This is a fucking world! Hmm, look at my home. Pretty neat. Pretty friggin' neat. Look at me, I'm pretty drunk. Whoa, I feel really drunk. Oh, smile. Anyways, let's take a shower. Well, with my clothing on. This is the city. I don't like living in a city. It feels very... Compact. It, I prefer watching nature instead of the... Instead of uh, watching this. If I have to watch this every day, I'd probably go... You know, not crazy, but... sitting inspired by the matrix mm -hmm. next channel <laughs> what the heck? Watson whore. Ain't her.
Myth Guard. All right. Watching. Maybe I should watch that movie in 2023. Which I highly doubt it will be created. Check the weapon stash. You stash the security system is um, storing all the equipment from all your from all of the available warehouses. You know what? I like to look cool this way. Now that's cool. Anyways. something when I jagged into that corpo's biomon. You know, neurovirus, or... Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. then let's go quick shower mm. this is how you take a shower I don't take a shower that way and I also take cold showers oh. I bet no one can take cold showers during the cold weather Everyone was a fan a pansy. Okay, you can use it like Duke Nukem. Hey, uh, do I know you? Hey, V. Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, B. Regina Jones. No wonder people have those weird, you know, played, um, like, some kind of, um, Grooves in their faces because it's actually detachable. Ew. I don't want this to be my future. It's like everyone's gonna look young, I can tell you that. Everyone's gonna look like 18, but they're actually like 60. NCPD! Open up!
I think I know what happened. I went. I'm not supposed to go near the police. My oh my! Look at him. Look at him. How about a round or two? Ew. What do you say? Let's go, Bret Hart. Bret Hart uh, glasses again. All good. Bushido three. Bloody hell. What do I do? Hmm. Yes? Yes. What's up? I'm watching you. Get in it. Can't you see I'm busy? <laughs> hey, yo, V. How about a round or two? What do you say? Oh. How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next gen ass whooping he did. Uh, Curious to see how he handles the likes of me. So how about it? Hey, hey, hey. How's it going? Fight's about to start. Not gonna watch. Take notes. Malone versus Hernandez. Nah, our chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk, neither. Only way he communicates is with them fists. <laughs> Where'd you get him? Where'd you get him, Fred? Off the street. Saw him looking up at me with these big, sad eyes. So I took the poor pup in. Better clothed him. Nah, for real. He's a military fox. Got a sweet deal. And a tumor mine tossed him a few upgrades. Now, here we are. Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. Yourself. Not anymore. Skull's taking too much of a beating. Reflexes ain't what they used to be. All right. There's ways of fixing that. Karenza cops should do the trick. Rather dish out my eddies for something else. It's time I started taking it easy. Oh, okay. He doesn't want to risk getting damaged. You mentioned something about fighting. Hmm. I've seen you landing blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Both of us, I guess, I get a small percentage of the total, you know. We get the rest. Oh, I get it. You want to get rich off my blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> hey, you gotta make a buck somehow, right? At least I'm giving it to you straight. Fights right. happen in different parts of the city. You 
choose where you want to go. Put down your eddies and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. Start with the boogie. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you made of. All right. What have you got for sale? Only top shelf gear. Ooh, a knife. How much money do I have? Four. Electric button. Long blade. Hammer. One forty nine, one twenty five, one sixty eight, one thirty eight, one twenty four, one forty nine. I can probably get this, but not yet. Words about who you're going to go against. Kabuki, won't spoil this, just come and see. Ari Yo, Buck Six Street, Real Pros, Glenn, Caesar Fight, like fucking ham, fucking hammers, Animal Club, Rhino, Woman's a Legend, Laser Moon, Flag. Let's have a look. But they're not free. What are they buy? Upgrading iconic items. You just receive an iconic item along with a set of crafting specs. You can use these to craft better quality versions of the item. When a new version of iconic item is crafted, the original item is destroyed. Iconic items can be upgraded like regular weapons or pieces of clothing. Upgrading improves their level and stats, ensuring that they remain useful as you progress through the game. Thanks a lot. No problem. They, for they forgot a dialogue for that guy. Alright. Got my gun. Let's test it out. Get a job. Get a job. You're homeless. By Vila Virtuosos and theatrical performances in the no tradition. 
Hey, B. Regina Jones here. I hear you just looking for work in Watson. Just happens I'm here in the main in one of the main employers. If you don't want to waste these good talents of yours, check out the case I sent you. Do work. There's where there's more where they come from. Uh huh. A corporation and in an exciting development. Even Come on, I can't wait to get out of here. Participation in the Dashi Parade. From all of us at WNS News, we wish you a safe and fun month's way. Enjoy yourselves, nice city. Hey, what's up? your fucking life on because tomorrow be ain't come delta the fuck out piss off slacker yeah no big all right boys we're hitting the the open world scene now whoa now Fusing together today. But until then, you keep your head down and listen to me. Kids these days. Hello. So much junk around. It's like everyone's just hustling. Cause times are tough. I can't make it. Oh. Could you give me some personal oh, watch space? You'll please. Swallow a fly. That was scary. Medium scary. What do I say? Burn cord cord corp. Poison. Okay. Ooh, glasses. <laughs> I'm a pacifist, but a stubborn one. <laughs> hey, now. You think you're the best, too? I think she's on drugs. <laughs> Heavy drugs. The hell? I think she's fine. Huh? Oh no, she's standing up. What the heck is that? This Can't do nothing to me. Oh look, there's Keanu. Oh hi there. Keanu. Keanu Jones. Think I just grabbed something in the ground. Life's a peach, am I right? Did you see that? Hmm, what about Emisaka Pasila? Hmm, I'm gonna be the W. No civilian access. That's it for now, folks. I'm gonna be talking to Jackie West and the next adventure of Cyberpunk. Till next time, folks. Not much has happened, but eh, whatever.
This is gonna be a long adventure, I can tell you that. A long adventure. Right? 